Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is Karthik. Thanks for joining with me today. So in this video, what I'm going to cover is how to add the authentication and authorization part in your Angular application. The concept that I'm going to use is very popular one and very secured one, which is Azure Active Directory Business to Consumer. In short form, we will call it as Azure AD B2C. So we will go through the Azure AD B2C concepts and we will also see how to do the app registration and configure these things in your web API and the Angular application. So this is the app which is already built and deployed. Currently, this app doesn't have the authorization. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this application and the previous uh, published the web API application. And I'm going to show you how to configure these two things here as well as in the Azure portal and uh, and and also I'll show you how this application is going to work. Okay, so come, let's get started. So in this demo, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to open up this application locally. So by opening the localhost 4200 port. So once I load this application, you see this, you saw some uh, the, the front end screen, the home screen, but the app realized that I have not authenticated yet. So it is asking me or it is prompting me to sign in. Okay because I am a new user and I haven't registered anything with this application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on sign up now and this will bring me a nice UI. Okay. The UI that you're seeing right now is all built in UI built by the Azure team. Okay. You can actually customize this. We will see all those things, how to customize, bring up your own screen, bring up other different, uh, you know, nice screens and all, but let's stay with, uh, the topic. Let's see how the inbuilt things works okay so here what it is asking me is it is asking me to provide some email address and password and display name country that's it you see this all these drop the boxes here all these things also are configurable okay i'll show you how to add more uh, properties here and uh, you know collect the information from the user for now let's focus only on uh, the particular property so let's fill up quickly so i filled up my valid email address okay so i'm going to fill up some password Display name is Karthik Kannan and then country I'm going to choose uh, the country that I'm currently residing and given name is again just Karthik. We'll keep it in that way and if I try to create now see it is asking me I haven't done everything right so you have to click on the send verification code and you need to verify this email address okay that's why I gave a valid email address. So I clicked on the send verification code. Now the code has been sent. I need to fill up the verification code here. Okay. So I opened up my email address and you see this. I received an email from Microsoft. Okay. So learn smart coding account email verification and it is coming from Microsoft website itself. So this is the code that I need to pass. So let's paste this code. Let's verify this. See the email address is verified. Now let's click on create. See, the account got created, the app started loading and you can see here it's coming as edit profile and sign out profile. Okay, there is no more login and it's loading. So now the authentication is successful. I'm able to load the page. Okay, so let's open up the developer tool and quickly see what's going on. So let me navigate to a different page. You see this couple of calls are going to the API. So let's click one of those and you can see clearly under the authorization header we are sending a bearer token and this token is called JSON web token, JWT token. Okay. So let's see what is inside this token. I copied this token and then go to JWT.io or you can also go to JWT.ms. So if you copy paste the token here, it is going to decrypt here. And you, if you see what is decrypted here, it's basically a JSON with couple of properties and values here. If you can notice, Whatever we gave in the registration, right? The name, the country, given name, email address, all these things are recorded here. Okay. So these are called claims. Okay. These are called claims. Claims is nothing but a key value pair, which will identify what user and what is the user information. And the second thing that you need to notice is the scope. SAP is scope. And right now there are four scopes from the application, which is going on, which is category and the product read and write. Okay, so we'll go through all these things when we look at the Angular application. Okay, so what else I can do? I can click on this and click on edit profile. So when I click on edit profile, the 
the user information that we collected. Not everything needs to be edited. We can configure this in such a way that what is allowed to edit. So right now I'm allowing only the display name. So instead of Karthik in it, I would say just Karthik. Okay. So I can continue and I'll show you how different things will work with different configuration. See, I was able to edit my profile. Okay. And uh, if you see the token, it will be different now and the changes will happen. So for example, So let's pick up a different token now. So let's go here. Let's grab this new token that is going on. Copy. Let's go here. Paste it. And the given name, the display name is changed now. Okay. So the display name is just Karthik instead of Karthikanan. So the previous claim had this too. Karthikanan, right? So right now the current claim, if I paste, only one is coming because it changed. All right. So let's say I sign out and I try to log in it will try to bring me the login screen and I I really forgot my password actually I can click on this forgot password and I can change my password so the Azure A2 the Azure AD B2C will expect the user to be logged in if the user has not logged in for security purpose it will ask me to provide the email address and verify this code so then I can change the password great so, so now you know how the application works. So now it's time to learn one by one. Let's learn the concept and then Azure configuration and then how to configure the application and start this process. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.